Hello everyone and welcome. In the following video, we will go over MLS, the REST framework on how Pyrus feed interact with these services, the sequence steps to successfully migrate property data from the multiple listing service to Prism database. An MLS or a multiple listing service is a mean by which authorized participants such as brokers and realtors make offers of compensation to other participants, in this case acting as sellers or buyer agents, by which information is accumulated and disseminated to enable authorized participants to prepare appraisals, analysis, and other valuations of real property. We can think of MLS as a big data warehouse, and there is no single authoritative MLS and no universal data form. However, there is a data standard of MLS system, the Real Estate Transaction Standard, or REDS, which is being deployed across MLS solutions in the US. The REST framework, not to be confused with the RESTful or REST API, is XML based and there is a wide variety of tools and libraries for which an end user can use to access these properties information. One of these libraries provided by RESTful is Libretz, which is available in multiple programming languages. In our case, Python is the current language being used. Another tool provided by RESTful and CoreLogic is the REST connector. This great tool allows you to download data from the MLS using a graphical user interface. Data tables can be downloaded in different formats such as XML, Compact XML, and a self-defined text file structure. Libretz, the library being used in Pyrus feed, is used to establish a connection with an MLS service, allowing us to download property details in the form of a Compact XML file. Resso, the creator of this library, provides us with plenty of documentation on how to use this great tool. Now, let's talk about Pyrus feed. PyreFeed is an in-house developed program that using Libretz allows to fetch data from a local MLS database, parsing this XML file to a JSON format and using another library called Slumber, which is a Python library that provides a convenient yet powerful object-oriented interface to the RESTful API. It acts as a wrapper around the excellent request library and abstract away the handling of URLs, serialization and processing requests. Now, let's go over the sequence of steps of Pyrus feeds and the interaction between Django, the database, Reds, and MLS. First, Pyrus feed establishes a connection between the Reds framework. After doing this, it sends a request to obtain the property data. Then, behind the scenes, the Reds framework sends a request to the MLS, and the MLS returns all the properties by which the Reds will return a compact XML file to Pyrus feed. After doing this, PyrusFeed will parse this information and will convert this data into a JSON file. Then, after, the Slumber library will do a pull to Django. Once Django gets this information, an SQL statement is sent into the database with the proper information to match Django on the database data models. 